What is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome back to Spin Tires Mud Runner and I hope you all are ready to see one of the absolute baddest crawlers you guys will have seen in recent memory in this game and boom, it is Wrench and Monkey's Ford Bronco. This thing is an absolute monster. Now you can see it's got the coilover mounts coming through the hood and then through the fenders in the rear of the in the rear of the rig. Um, it's got like it's got custom axles. It the it's got boggers. It is outfitted and ready to go. Now. Depending on how you want to run this thing, you can put a full cap and doors on it. However, that's not how I'm going to run it. I'm going to run it with the supplies in the back and the tube doors. Now, you can run the bikini top if you want, but I'm going to go ahead and take it off, actually, and just run the cage because I personally think the cage looks... Probably, it, it looks the best and it especially fits the theme of the rig with the tube doors as well. Now, the map we're on is the Gauntlet, and I'm really a big fan of this map because there haven't been a lot of maps that have been made, in recent memory at least, that have had trails that are quite as interesting as the ones on this map or quite as realistic in terms of crawling as the ones on this map. In, in terms of just well in terms of crawling in general and in terms of making them difficult while also making them feel realistic so I think that this map really pulls off a lot of things that a lot of maps try to shoot for but not a lot of maps actually end up uh, actually end up being able to do whereas this one absolutely pulls it off now I'm trying to bypass the trail just a little bit because the first part of the trail on this map if you've never been on this map before or if you haven't seen my map tour videos this map is not exactly the i don't know how deep that is so i don't want to eh, or should i just say screw it and go um i'm gonna say oh i am not gonna say screw it and go holy crap all right let's not go in there that is not on the uh, on the list of priorities at all let's go ahead and oh give it a little whoa it wanted to roll over. It genuinely wanted to roll over there. You do have to be careful because this thing is a little bit top heavy, but we've gotten ourselves into a bit of a situation here. We also probably should have gone the other way, but I'm not too concerned about it because this thing has a boatload of, well, it should have a boatload of grip. I haven't actually fully tested it off-road yet because I wanted to give you guys my very first impressions of how this thing drove and how it felt, but I, whoop. Yep, walk it up onto the trail. Oh, yes. Oh, I know where I am. Okay. So if you've watched my map tour videos, you'll know where this particular trail leads. And this trail is actually a really good way to test this rig out. Now, let me go into... Well, actually, let me get over these logs before I do anything. But let me get over these logs and then go into interior view, which honestly, it's a little bit too far forward. In fact, it's way too far forward. So that may, that may need some fixing. I mean, the mod creator may want to put that on his list if he has a list of things to change on this mod but that's like the only thing that i've found so far now overall like looks wise this thing looks great it looks wonderful i i love the way this thing i love the way this thing has been outfitted because it looks like it looks like something that would that could be actually built it looks like a looks like a properly done you know reasonably high-end crawler rig made out of a Bronco, and I, you don't really see them turned into, uh, turned into builds like this that often, and I think it's really cool to see this body style Bronco taken in that direction, and I think it looks, like I said, I think it looks great. Now, what I really want to know is what its climbing abilities are, especially on rocks. Now, because when it comes to rocks, some vehicles do great in mud, some vehicles do great on hills, and then they fall flat on their face when they get to rocks, or they do really, really well in, you know, they do really, really well on rocks, but they fall flat on their faces when it comes to mud. So, this thing has not fallen flat on its face when it comes to mud, and the only thing with that is, like, it's like, that's good, but at the same time, that makes me wonder if, because of the fact that it was decent in mud, if it's going to be crappy on rocks. Now, that isn't always true, but I find that with, uh, with more vehicles than, more vehicles than not, um, the ones that are really good in the mud tend to not be the greatest on rocks, but I'm hoping that's not the case with this thing because it's one of the most interesting and coolest looking crawler rigs I've used in recent memory. Like, I, I really, really like the way this thing looks, the way it drives, the way it flexes. It really is an awesome rig. 
So let's take it to a let's take it to a rock crawling area and see what happens with it. But I like see look, the automatic gearbox programming is really good. I mean, these trails are not very hard packed ground. They're actually pretty soft, and this thing's just staying in third, just getting it, getting it up the hills, no problem at all. Come on. Oh, that's going to send it back to first. I saw it start to spin, and I was like, yeah, that's heading back to first. Like, that that's 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 the ticket back to first right there. Oh, 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 don't slide off the edge. Please don't slide off the edge. That's the last thing I want this thing to do. Now, I should have really, you know, uh, exposed some of the watch points, because when you expose the watch points... You can see, you know, you can see what's actually going on on the map. I didn't do that, and I don't have enough time on this map to, like, I don't have enough, like, play time on this map to really know exactly where everything is. So I'm hoping we will come across a rock crawling trail sooner than later and test this thing out along the way. Which, by the way, the fact that we plunged it into that mud hole and it absolutely did not care is pretty impressive, in my opinion. I Whoa! Whoa, the camera was positioned in a funky spot, and it just completely slid off the road. But again, we're just in automatic mode, and it's literally digging trenches with the tires, but just carrying on. It's digging trenches, but it's carrying its, all, it's, carrying its momentum, it's carrying on, and then boom, we're back on the trail. I haven't found anything that's been able to stop this rig just yet. Come on, stick with it. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Oh, I think I remember this hill. I'm going to put it in high. Oh, high's fairly quick, actually. Oh, it jumps in high. That's nice to know. That's nice to know. Go, 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 go. Keep your grip. Aw. Oh, it, it was just like, it was just like, nope, no grip for you. Grip is, uh, grip is gone, sir. What is high the equivalent of? Like, third, fourth? Probably somewhere between third and fourth, because it defaulted to third, but we were on a hill, so you have to factor that in when you consider what the gearbox is going to do. Because a well-programmed gearbox will be able to respond pretty instantaneously from a shift out of high, uh, depending on what the situation at hand is. Now, this spot on the map, I do not recognize. You know why? Because I have not been over here before. Yeah, I've never been here. I have legitimately never been here. This is completely new to me, and I... Oh, I kind of want to go down there. Dude. Dude, I don't know... Yeah, there's a watch point this way, and I want to go ahead and go this way because I've never explored this section of the map. I'm going to put it in low three and, uh, and go ahead and head down this trail and see how we do. Because this trail looks properly fun. Oh yeah, it's got we've got some mud to deal with. We've got some edges on the side to make sure you don't fall off the well, the it's an edge on on the side to keep you on your toes to make sure that you make sure not to fall off the edge. Let's go. Using high range to climb those hills. Just winding through the landscape and then you can see this massive valley uh, open up in the distance. Oh god, we fell in a ditch. But this thing's a this thing's a beast, so it just pulls itself right back out of the ditch again. I mean, it's honestly, I haven't seen this thing I, I let anything get in its way. Let me just check the map. Okay, I wanted to make sure and see if these things were recallable or not. Like, I didn't think they were, but I wanted to make sure. Um, that is one thing that I think for a crawler is important, because what if you're out exploring a map, and you just so happen to find an awesome rock crawling spot, and you just want to call your crawler out there, so you don't have to, like, drive it all the way to the to the whatever point you might be on you might be on the opposite side of the map on a huge map at that so i think these should be recallable but that's just my personal opinion i prefer recallable vehicles i think that there's a lot to be like there's a lot of use in a recallable vehicle uh oh come on get back on the trail oh get back on the trail come on 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 oh maybe not tree got in the way and it was just like nope you're done. Oh, crap. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And go, 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 go. Oh, jeez. It's getting a little squirrely. Getting a little all over the place is what it's doing. Come on. It's spinning a good bit, actually. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. There we go. Not bad. Okay, so... 
where are we at in terms of the map? I have never been out here before. Dude, we're heading to... Did we literally drive past a watch? We did. We did, but you know what? That's okay, because I... Oh, oh, what's over there on the other side? I know it might seem like... It, oh, are those rocks or water? I don't know, but I see something interesting. I'm putting it at high range, gonna, and, and I'm going to go down the... Yes! Yes, I found what I needed to find. Dude, that's what this thing is perfect for. And so far, how's this rock traction? How's it looking? It's looking legit so far. My god. This thing's a tank. Dude, it just walked itself through that like it wasn't even like it wasn't even there. It just literally walked through it like there was no that like there was no issue at all. Come on, there we go. Come on, if you could dig in just a little bit more. A little bit more. Find some grip. Why does it have why did it have to end? Like, why did this section have to end? That doesn't make any sense. I just want more rock crawling. That's what I came here to find was rock crawling. Is there anything this way? I mean, other than like a couple of rocks? I mean, I guess you can make a little bit... Wait, does this make a loop, or is this a different trail? Regardless, we can we can still go back... No, 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 I think this is a different trail. Uh-oh. What, what are you stuck on? What are you stuck on, and why are you stuck? There we go, a bump down to low two fixed all of that. When in doubt, drop to a lower gear ratio, I guess, in this thing. It's getting a little slippy here. Getting a little slippery. Starting to be iffy on grip, but you gotta remember, this is very steep stuff. Very, very steep. Very, like, actually one of the steepest sections I've come across on this map so far. It's kind of a lumbering beast. It, it makes it up obstacles, but, I mean, obviously if you take the right line, of course, but it's a bit of a lumbering beast when it comes to, when it comes to how it drives and how it handles. It's just like... And there we go. It just steps right up over stuff. Which is honestly really cool to watch. It's really cool to watch this thing do what it does. Flex its way through here. And what's coming up after the... Oh, God. So this goes back down the hill. And then after the... Oh, dear. Please don't tell me we're about to get, like, turned around or something. Okay, no, we're good. I just want to get down the hill. Down the hill. Down the hill. Ooh, it almost got squirrely. It almost got squirrely and almost went over, but this thing is an absolute animal, and I highly, highly recommend it to anybody that wants to add an absolutely badass crawler to their garage in Spin Tires Mud Runner. But if you guys enjoyed this Mod Spotlight video, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comments down below what y'all thought of it, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later.